Hello everybody, welcome to a video, good to see you all. God, it's been three weeks since I've made a video. Um, you might have uh, thought I wasn't around anymore, um, <laughs> but I am, which will please maybe a couple of people. <laughs> I'm well, I've been working really hard, that's why I haven't made a video. We're in a lockdown um, in the UK, but you would have never guessed it. From uh, from the shops and uh, the roads, they're as busy as ever. Um, hmm. I've been uh, well. I haven't really been buying any tobacco. I've been sent some tobacco, which was very, very kind of Jeff, which I'm smoking now. And. Uh, I've gone through this tin in a week. Oh, there we go. It's um, Warped Cigars, The Haunting, and it's a collaboration between Jeremy Reeves of Cornell and Deal and uh, Kyle Gellis of Warped Cigars. I have to say it's very, very good. Um, I've had a few of the Warped Cigars offerings. Um, the Red Hunt, which was quite nice. Um, Cloud Hopper, which was uh, excellent. And this, which is a cigar leaf blend. <clears throat> and you're thinking, well, what's the point in cigar leaf blends? You might as well just smoke a cigar. And that's very true for most of the cigar leaf blends that are available um, at the moment. But this one is very, very different. Just put it, I have to put the glasses on, I'm afraid. Um, it's a bit of a flowery description, but I'll read it anyway. The haunting, a luxurious aroma, heady and vibrant, envelops you. Dark sweetness laced with tones of leather and subtle spice rises from the gentle ember, illuminating the surrounding darkness. As the tiny coal wanes, the fragrance lingers, its phantom tendrils curling, beckoning you further into the deepening shadows. <laughs> oh my god, whoever dreamt that up, um, I don't know what to say about them. Basically it's a cigar leaf blend <laughs> um, with classic C&D Virginias in, which is very nice. A um, little bit of spice from, I guess they've put some Perique in there as well. The um, actual description is overly uh, flowery and... Uh, um, oh yeah, here we go. <coughs> Finest Virginia leaf and Dominican Criollo, which is the cigar leaf. So Criollo, yeah, nice. Very nice. Uh, they've got it right with this one, so if you can pick some of this up, um, go ahead and do that. We can't get it, of course, in the United Kingdom. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, but yeah, very, very nice, and thank you, Jeff, for that. Appreciate that. Um, mm. So, I got this the other day. This is a... Nicron torch. Uh, it's the best torch I've ever had. It's absolutely fantastic. I've gone through so many torches um, when I think this one's the best one I've had and it cost 15 UK pounds. It's got a magnet here so you can put it up like that. It's got a swivel head on the front of it so you can turn it like that and the actual there you go is is pretty powerful it, well it's very powerful you've got two modes um, that one and that one but you've also got strobe which is that one and you've also got SOS, which is that one. Uh, 
So all in all for 15 UK pounds, just a fantastic torch. You know, immediately got a light, any angle. So I bought two of them, one for my son as well for his birthday, just as a little uh, stocking filler. Yeah, have a look on um, eBay or Amazon or something and get yourself one of these. They're really, really good. Highly recommended. So what else did I pick up? Um, oh yes, pipe wax. Now I've gone through whew, Halcyon wax, Paragon wax, Beeswax, Carnuba wax, um, um, I've made my own blend of wax, uh, boot polish, e everything. I've got a lot of wax here and I, I do shine my own shoes, um, which I know is a dying art, but in this box here is all my <coughs> waxes and polishes and I've got tons of it and brushes and more brushes and waxes and that's the one um, that a lot of people use for pipes which is okay um, there is one called parade wax which I think is better which, uh, I can't find at the moment but the point I'm getting to is I've, I've used a lot of wax in my time I've got the parade wax well anyway <clears throat> I've used a lot of wax in my time and by far the best wax I've ever had and I've only just discovered it it's taken me only nearly 20 years to learn how to uh, you know, get it right with pipe polishing. <laughs> is a micro crystalline wax polish called Renaissance, and it's um, one used by the British Museum, made in the UK. And I tell you what, it's fantastic, absolutely wonderful. If I um, little wa royal warrant on the top there, not that, that means anything, but. <laughs> um, I think this was about 15 UK pounds, maybe maybe slightly less, but that will last forever, or for the rest of my life at least. Um, and I've polished all my pipes, and you really wouldn't know that I'd used any. Well, you would, there's a little dip, but hardly, hardly any you can see has been used. Um, what I do, <coughs> I just use my finger, rub it in the top, rub it into the pipe, same with uh, rusticated, you can rub it in with that and then you can buff it off after about half an hour with your soft cloth or you can use a toothbrush or very soft kind of bristle brush <coughs> which I've got um, well, I've got it to hand Yeah, that one. Very, very soft. <clears throat> so, just like that. Very gently on the pipe. And it just comes up an absolute treat. I mean, I did this a few days ago and it's still lovely and shiny. So, yeah. Um, Get yourself some of this if you can, Renaissance Wax. I know um, a few people are very, Tim um, Hobbit uh, Piper is um, very keen on, you know, hand polishing with such a excellent wax like this. Highly recommended, made in the UK, and um, you can pick it up on eBay. <clears throat> right, I have got a little package on opening, a Yabo. Uh, from um, 
my smoking shop, which is a tobacconist in the UK. And I'm going to use my out the front bench made knife. That one, which is as sharp as a razor. Just how I like it. So, what have I been buying? Gareth Hogarth's Seasonal Reserve Pipe Tobacco. Lovely stuff. Love that design, little fox making his way through the forest into the moonlight. Very Christmassy, lovely, very, very nice. So I've got one, two, and three, three tins of that. So, um, yeah. Shame about this bit, but yeah, that's the way uh, tins go nowadays. There you go. Um, snuff wise, I've been on this SP number one. That one, one of my favourites. Uh, Dipping tobacco wise, I'm on the old uh, Stokers. Winter green, which I really like, have done for years. And cigar wise, <coughs> cigar of the week or the day, which I'm going to have tonight, is going to be one of these, which is a little um, Cuban Vigueros, one of those. These are lovely, especially with a coffee. Um, very, very nice. Jeff also sent me some coffee from the United States, which is um, a vanilla nut coffee. We we can get flavoured coffee here, but um, I've never found anything that compares to Don... Don... Um, is it Francesco or Francisca? Whatever his name is, Don Don was his name's um, vanilla nut coffee. You can only get it in the United States, um, and I've tried versions of it here from Coffee Direct and places like that. But this is the real deal here in my um, little uh, uh, little mug. Oh, lovely! Very very nice indeed. <clears throat> That's it really guys. Yep, I'm still alive and still making videos. <laughs> um, nothing else is going on. I'm just working really hard at the moment. So hopefully the next video um, will be a Christmassy video. <laughs> I bet that will please many, many people. Not at all. Yeah, Christmas is coming. There we go. Something to look forward to. We're in lockdown until very early December. I can see the UK government extending it slightly, but uh, hopefully we will get a Christmas. So uh, something to look forward to. Guys, I'm on 14 minutes, so thanks for watching. And um, if you haven't, check out um, um, the UK Pipe and Tobacco Club. Um, what's the other one? Greybeards Island. I've just joined it. <laughs> I can't remember the bloody name. Excuse my French. Um, but there we go. I'll, I'll try and drop links down below to some new groups that I've joined. Um, yeah, on Facebook. Take care. All the best. Bye.